Miami Heat Nation, what is going on? Man, oh man, we got some huge news involving the Miami Heat starting lineup heading of the for obviously for the 2024-2025 season. Now everybody feels like it's gonna be Terry Rozier, Tyler Harrow, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, and Nikola Jovic. But in this article, it says report three out of the five. Miami Heat starting lineup will be subject to competition. And this is exactly how I want it. I want these people to earn their starting roles. I just don't want it to be given. I want these players competing. And don't worry, guys, we're going to go full details of who I think should be starting in this year's starting lineup. But before we do all that good stuff, if you guys enjoy Miami Heat content, smash that subscribe button. You know, turn on the post notifications, comment, all that good stuff. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and we are going to be posting a lot more often. Now, let's go read this article. Um, as you see right here, it says, according to Five Reasons Sports, three of the Miami Heat's five spots in the starting lineup are subject to be competition as the 2024-2025 season approaches. It says, I was told this weekend that the Heat have two def uh, defending starters, and the other spots will be subject to competition. He said, while it isn't totally clear which two players have their spots in the starting five, guaranteed one can likely assume that Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo are other players in question. Now, of course, you're trying to build the best starting lineup around these two guys, especially with a huge, huge upcoming season. This is a huge season for the Miami Heat, straight up, because you got Jimmy Butler's contract, you got Bam Adebayo just getting more and more frustrated, and then also there's questions about, okay, what do you do with Terry Rozier, right? Because technically, this will be two years with Terry Rozier, and technically, I get it, it's a first full season with him, but... Is he staying here long term? Are you giving him the contract extension? Like, what are we doing with Terry Rozier? So it's definitely huge, right? And it says Butler was one of the Miami's primary score uh, primary scoring option last season. He averaged about 20 points a game um, per contest during the 2023-2024 regular season, which was tied with Tyler Hero for the highest scoring average on the team. Now it says the 34-year-old averaged 13 shots per contest. He shot 49% from the on floor and 41% from the three-point range. And obviously, they're going to kind of go more in details and stuff like that. So I'm kind of just going to go with what I think is best for the Miami Heat. And so obviously, you got, you know, the Miami Heat's two best players, Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, right? So that, that's completely fine. There's no way they're not going to be starting Terry Rozier. So Terry Rozier, you trade a first-round pick, you're going to be starting Terry Rozier. Simple as that. And I'm going to be showing you guys um, something on my screen so you can just kind of see what the roster is looking like at the moment, right? So Terry Rozier, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo. I think those spots are completely locked up. Now, the two and the four is very, very interesting because the two, you can go different places, right? You can kind of go bigger and with more size but less scoring, right? You can kind of go with Haywood Highsmith at the two, right? In that sense of because we need the size, we need the length, and we all know Tyler Hero plays best coming off the bench, right? So you could do a Terry, a Haywood, a Jimmy, and a Bam um, starting lineup, right? But hopefully Haywood Highsmith's three-point percentage and three-point shot is improving because that's the only way this would work, right? Or you can put Duncan Robinson, depending if he's healthy or not, because when he was healthy before that back injury, we all wanted Duncan Robinson starting, right? Duncan Robinson, 6'7", he moves without the ball. I think it's a better fit playing with Terry Rozier because Terry Rozier is that type of guy that can give you 25-plus points a night. He can shoot eight three-pointers, right? But then when him and Tyler are playing together, we just haven't really seen it, um, you know, play 2-2, well, because they both need the ball in their hands, right? So you kind of need a, a better better spacing and, you know, better just players around them, right? So you can go Haywood Highsmith or you can go Duncan Robinson. Or you can kind of go, okay, that's fine. Let's put Kalel Weir at the five. Let's put Bam at the four. And now you have two rim protection great um, defensive bigs at your four and five. And now you're a taller team, right? Because I think that's what everybody wants. I just don't think um, Kalel Weir is going to get the starting spot right away. But 
it, it does question, they are going to be competing for it. So Kalel Weir, if he has a great training camp, there's a good chance that he may be starting early for the season. And I think preseason is going to matter a lot. I think you're going to need to see different lineups of Bam Adebayo and Kalel Weir. And you're going to need to see Kalel Weir and Kevin Love coming off the bench. You're going to need to see Jovic, Jaime, all playing with these different lineups, right? Or possibly you can just say, you know what? Bam's going to stay at the five. Let's keep Jaime at the four, even though I don't think he's really a four. I think he's more like a three type. You put him at the four and kind of go with Terry, Tyler, Jimmy, right? So there are so many options what you're going to do. I think, obviously, Terry and Tyler um, might get the first two starting spots because of contract uh, reasonings. You traded for Terry, Tyler, everybody, the front office loves him, it seems like. It looks like Tyler never wants to come off the bench. So I'm kind of conflicted right now. Like I'm going back and forth as I'm making this video right here because it's just like if the roster starting lineup was locked up, wouldn't Tyler be part of it? And it looks like Tyler's not part of it. It looks like Terry's not part of it. So it is interesting. But for the four position, right, why do why does Jovic automatically get that four spot? You feel what I'm saying? Like he had a good season, but like we probably still need a little bit more. And so that's that's just kind of my question with it. So there's a lot to really undiscover right here. But if I was going with a, a final starting lineup, I'll keep, keep Kalel Weir at the five, Bam at the four, Jimmy and Terry. And then for the shooting guard position, I will be going with Duncan Robinson or Haywood Highsmith. It would be either those two players right there. Have Tyler come off the bench. Um, I think it just makes more sense for Tyler to come off the bench. And I think that's what... The Miami Heat need to do so yeah it's very interesting let me know in the comment sections what do you guys think and also let me know in the comment sections like what type of starting lineup that are you guys looking for for the Miami Heat because I kind of revealed my starting lineup and just kind of want to hear what you guys think once again love you guys so much have a great day and I'm out peace